Well, welcome back to this Carmel painting. Today I'm going to be working on the palm trees here in front of the mission. And I begin by painting the trunks in. And this, these are mixes of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part alizarin crimson. And then I've added a little bit of cadmium orange to, into that and then some white. And then I come back in with some darker, this is just my mud plus a little bit of liquid. Just kind of give some darkness into that trunk. And then this mixture has a little more ultramarine blue in it, which makes it a little bit grayer. So I just kind of scumble this color up there. Doesn't really matter. It, these trunks are really rough where they've cut the old fronds off over the years. As the trees grow up, the, the leaves at the top are called fronds. And as they get uh, old and dry, they drape down. And then if you cut them off, then that encourages the trunk, the tree, to grow up taller. And then these cut parts of the, the fronds just are all along the trunk. I love palm trees. They just as the wind blows them, they rustle those fronds and just they're really a neat tree. But these are the, the trunks are really rough where all those cut ends of the, the fronds stick out there. They're hard and rough and a lot of texture. Now let's do this one over here. This one's going to be a little different angle just to add some interest. Don't want your trees like picket fences, which is for me very easy to do. It's much easier for me to make them all equal, you know, all straight up and down, all equal distance apart. I don't know if, I guess that's just my nature. I want everything straight and in line. And now I'm taking a little bit of my color from the door, which is a mixture of my mud plus cadmium orange, and just adding a little bit of variation into that trunk. A little bit of warmth. <coughs> Now I'm going to start putting the fronds here at the top. And I'm using, these are mixes of ultramarine blue plus cadmium lemon yellow, or lemon yellow. And I just, again, the fronds are spiked out. And they just break up over the, the mission here. Pretty well painted the mission in behind where they go, um, just so that I can break these fronds out. Don't have to worry about filling any holes. And these come down from this upper tree. And I will go back then and fill in those holes. <coughs> Some of these fronds break down or come back down this way. And I've saved my color from my mission so I can come back, I'll be able to come back and work in between in between some of those fronds. But they break, they come up pretty high here. And I want them to break. <clears throat> over in front of this opening a little bit. And that gives, it helps give the feeling of depth in your painting. When you have objects overlapping, have one here and then one behind it, it gives a feeling of depth. And that's just another trick we can use in painting to give that feeling of three dimension on a two-dimensional canvas because our paintings are ultimately flat, but we want them to give the appearance of having depth. So there's just certain techniques that we use. These are things Jack taught me. He, my goodness, what a fountain of knowledge he was. And he so freely shared, not only with me, but anybody that came to him and asked. I mean, he, 
He was more than willing to help artists. He said he couldn't pay back the people that helped him along the way, but he could certainly pay it forward. And that's, that, that's what I like to do. And that is my mission, I guess, to speak. I, I just like helping other artists, and I feel that God has so blessed us that it's up to us to give back. Now I'm coming back in with my my mixture of mud. Just this top part of the tree is pretty dark up here. Now I want to come back in and some of my little sky holes here. There's actually trees behind here. Kind of give that feeling of the color behind these is peeking through. And then on this one, some of that, we'll see some of the building, the mission color of that wall peeking through those spawns. And up here, <clears throat> I'm going to have a little bit too. Some of that dark color. And then here my, the, um, the palm fronds come down. There will be a few of the darker, browner ones up here around the top where some of these have started drying out. The, the big fronds have, have died, and so they, they drape down. And I'll need to add a little bit more light onto these just so that we'll be able to see them. Sunlight's catching them here. Now that's rough over that roof, so what I'm going to do is take my knife and just scrape off some of that rough paint underneath there. I can just take the tip of my knife, smooth that just a little bit. I just want that to be a little bit smoother so I can get the the shape of these these fronds draping down. See how that comes back better? And I'll use a little finer brush to get a little bit more detail in here. I don't want a lot, but just some. And there'll be some of these coming down here too. Then there'll be, these will be on this side, they're going to catch a little bit of light. These are going to be more in darker over here. I'm going to let these be a little bit warmer so they stand out from the trunk. Now I'm going to take a little bit, add a little bit of white into this frond color because this one up here is really catching that sunlight coming over the roof. figure out which way I want to hold my brush. Now these, I just just make a few little highlights here and there. So that sun catches them. This will catch a little bit in here. Now I'm going to highlight the greener fronds. Again, these are also, the sun's hitting these. Now 
this one there's going to be, let's see, these are going to hit a little bit up in here. And I'll use my finer brush. going to get highlighted. And then this tree is going to get a little bit of light hitting right into here. This one doesn't get as much because it's in the shadow of that tree. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of my Thalo Blue plus White, just add a little bit of coolness into these fronds, particularly these on this side. And the last, I will add some of the stems of these fronds, just coming back to the trunk. these to be dark. Well, <clears throat> I think they're going to be dark. I'm going to highlight on this one where it fans out. really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please always feel free to ask questions. Like I say, I do these to help other artists. I have, Jack and I, between the two of us, we have helped artists all over the world. And again, that's just, we feel that that's our tribute to God. We're honoring Him by, He's blessed us and so we just want to help others. So again, I thank you for watching my videos. Please do subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting, as well as others I do. And there's more teaching uh, opportunities on that, more opportunities for you to learn. And again, I just thank you very, very much.